Hey guys, Bradley Roy here, and behind me is my brand new 21 XRT Triton. So the XRT is new to the Triton family this year, brand new model, pretty much everything on it's new. Uh, awesome boat, I've actually got some time on it now, so I feel like I, I can give you a really good review about it. Well, let's take a look at it, walk around it, talk about it, we'll get in, get out, look at it. First of all, 21 feet, big boat, 95 inch wide front deck. First thing you're gonna notice about this boat is it, it's a ship. The cool thing about it is, is it keeps the Triton performance. So uh, that for me is awesome because if we're going to be big water, uh, that's really helpful to have that big boat, big platform. But also this boat is very nimble, drafts very shallow in shallow water. I've not had any issues there. So it's awesome to be able to have both worlds. Got it on the trailer. I've actually got a parking brake on the trailer. It's the first time I've done that with this boat. That's that's really cool. So all you got to do, you can see I've got it unhooked from the, from the, uh, from the truck. Just Put this handle down right here park and brake um, that's really awesome you don't have to carry around a piece of wood anymore uh, that, that for me was just one of the cool features about the new boat uh, 21 feet in length we talked about that we'll, we'll knock all the outside stuff out of course you always got to have two power poles um, you got to be able to stop run a 10 inch hydraulic atlas jack plate t and h um, that was pretty much standard on the other 21 feet boat so it is on this one too 250 pro excess mercury Got to have that. Um, this boat seems to like 23, 24 pitch props. Uh, for me, fishing, Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour, oftentimes we have three guys in the boat, so the 23 seems to do a little better for me uh, with a heavier load. But if you want to go full, you know, full speed, get the top speed out of this rig, usually a 24 pitch is where you want to be. Uh, and with this boat full load, I'm running low 70s. A lot of guys are running mid 70s with the boat, so it's super you know, big platform to fish off of, but it's still got that performance, which is what's really cool about it. So that's the business, that's the outside of it. Let's jump in the boat. So let's start at the console. So this is where, uh, you know, kind of the control center of the boat. The first thing that's gonna catch your eye about this boat is I've got two Lowrance uh, HDS 12s flush mounted in the dash. Um, that's, that's really important. You know, I've always, we've came up with cool mounts and ways to mount these things, but to have these flush mounted in the boat is so clean and to have 24 inches basically of graphs to look at, it's really cool. So that's the first thing you'll see, uh, plenty of room for graphs or you could just run 116 if you wanted to do that. Smart craft gauge, always gotta have one of those. Uh, these come on the XRT, just awesome because that gives you, you know, how much fuel you've used, if there's an alarm on the motor, whatever it may be, smart craft's a must. Um, one of the cool things that you've probably not seen on a whole lot of bass boats is a wireless charging port. So all of our new phones, iPhones, whatever it may be, you lay them on a wireless charging port, you can charge your phone. Triton's now got one in the new XRT. Um, the other is we've got a Raymarine control center here. Um, and this is what runs everything on the boat, whether it be your bilge pumps, your lights, um, live wells, anything that goes on in the boat is ran right here through the Raymarine. We've got a hot foot come standard on the XRT. Uh, a lot of times it gets overlooked, man, but a hot foot is a super great safety feature, uh, but also just really convenient. Um, come to the steering wheel, we've got a uh, jack plate on the left-hand side, trim on the right-hand side. You got your turn signal style uh, from TH. That's the console. Uh, and like I said, everything's controlled through here. One, one other feature that I have fell in love with with this boat so normally we've got in the back, we've got, in most bass boats, you have a breaker. You know, you want to be able to kill that power at night. Uh, you want to have a main power switch that kills everything in the boat. It's important for charging. You don't want any minor draws down on your batteries or anything like that. The neat thing about the Triton is you've got your switches over here and it's got one that you can turn the main power of the boat off and on uh, setting right here at the boat. So whether you're going to walk up from the outside of the boat, reach over, uh, you don't have to climb in, go to the back compartment to kill all the main power. Uh, it simply is, you hear a good click and it, we've got power, now we can power everything up in the boat. And at the end of the day, when we're done, we hit the other one, you hear a good audible click, kills the power to all the, all the boat. So that's super important. Just one of those features that's really handy. Um, and, and one of them I fell in love with on the new XRT. Going with the rest of the theme of the boat of being you know kind of easy to use everything on the boat, there's a remote, uh, you know, control to the to the drain plug. So it's as simple as just reaching down. 
you know, we try to do it before you put the boat in the water. But if you do forget, what's cool about it is I can just reach back here and hit a switch or hit the, you know, hit the uh, knob. My plugs be in. It's all good for the day. Um, one of those things that just really cool, really convenient. Uh, same goes for your live wells. You've got the same there. You got remote uh, switches for those. Uh, as you can see, super big deck. Um, we get up on the front deck here. We got one big door in the center, which is my favorite because um, I can just. This is where I put all my tackle. I've got my leader line. I've got my one life jacket ready to go. I've got I don't know how many. Uh, I don't even know if I could count as high as many boxes I've got in there. Uh, a ton of boxes. You've got two big rod lockers. Uh, you can see I've got this one stuffed full of rain suit, extra life jackets, um, you know, boots for rain. And of course you've got uh, your, your rod locker here and I've probably got 25 rods in there easy. Um, probably could fit more. So a lot of storage on the front deck. And we talked about the 95 inch beam width. I, mean, I can't even reach from side to side. So super wide. Uh, if you fish team tournaments, two guys, you could probably fish three guys up here. Um, that's what I love about this boat is that it's so wide um, and just a great fishing platform. One thing about the XRT that you probably won't notice right away is the drain system coming off the front deck. So traditionally, these doors come down and they drop all the way down and this carpet will set right against the fiberglass. Uh, then you've got your seal going around. Well, what they've done on the XRT there's actually drains in each one of the corners of these doors and then you'll see kind of raceways that keep the water flowing over through here. All that does keeps the water off this door so when you pick up this door you're not having water dropping right into your compartment uh, if it's wet or still raining and the drains catch the water get it going back to the back of the boat bilge can get it out or, or when you let go of your drain plug and then the rest of the water just keeps it running off. I've noticed my front deck dries quicker uh, my compartment stay a little drier and that door's not actually setting on the fiberglass, so um, this carpet won't pick up nearly as much water. It allows that water to have a cool drain system to get to the back of the boat. Uh, we got the padded carpet deck up here, so as soon as you get uh, up to the front, you got padded carpet deck right here. Just like at the console, what you'll kind of notice is two 12s mounted side by side. I've got my right one kind of turned a little bit as an angle. That's just something custom I did. Um, but you can set two 12 side by side. They've actually, you know, fiberglass, they spot perfectly just right there for that. Uh, I got a hydro wave mounted under that. My power pole switch is right below that. I've got a little control pad up here where I can control my lights, my trim, um, everything like that up here. So you've got what you need, but it's simple up front. Got the graphs, hydro wave. Um, another cool thing about this boat is the access panel. So they've changed, you've got your graphs here. Trolling motor, recessed trolling motor pedal. You got a really cool access panel here. It's kind of triangle. Take some screws out and you've got a whole access where you can you know, basically get all the way in there to work on anything you need to work on. So if you have a breakdown or a wire come loose or anything like that, or if you just want to add another graph or, or do any type of work in there, it's really handy. Uh, you're not having to squeeze your arm way back in there. Uh, I'm running the, the Ghost, 36 volt Ghost on it. Uh, Lowrance Ghost, Active Target. That comes standard uh, with, with the Triton XRT. Uh, really good setup. I like simple. I like clean. I like not having, you know, the graphs out in the floor. Uh, you can see I've just got a ton of room here to step around, especially when the trolling motor's in the water. You've got all this room to get around. The graphs aren't in your way. They're not higher than they need to be uh, for flipping and pitching and all that fun stuff. So super clean and super useful front deck. Coming back kind of to the middle of the boat, uh, you see I got a bunch of baits here. Uh, just laid out. This is a little tray. It's kind of my catch-all. Um, got a standard measuring board. Place to keep all your... Uh, I keep a couple pairs of scissors, pliers. Got to have that stuff. Um, cool little little compartment here. You can pull out. That's what's neat about this boat. Everywhere you go, there's a little nifty little compartment you can reach and grab stuff handy. Um, that one stays relatively dry. Huge cooler um, right here. Put ice in that stays cold all day just convenient no latch on that lid uh, that was always a feature that I liked because I didn't want to have to undo that for my cooler so just reach up there grab it um, for guys that have co-anglers or fish with a team partner really cool um, place that you can put a bunch of rods right here so it's it's kind of a flat platform 
run back here, keep all your rods secure. Got a strap for those. Um, one of my favorite things about this boat um, is the this little nifty compartment. So it goes right under where this rod storage would be. I keep my push pole down in there. I keep some scales down in there. Just little things you wouldn't think you need to put other places. I keep them in this compartment. So again, with the boat being so wide, we've got room for extra stuff like that. Um, new for the XRT, seats. Uh, you know, we've got a different uh, lineup of seats in these boats, really comfortable, keep you up high enough. You can see over the, uh, over the dash good, visibility is great, and they're really comfortable. Um, when you get in big water, man, you've got to have seats that are comfortable. These do, they're adjustable, they slide up and forth, so you know, if you're shorter, taller, uh, really helpful. Another feature that I really like about the XRTs, you know, I've got the carpet up front, carpet on the back deck, but you can take the carpet out of the bottom. Uh, this EVA type uh, padding dries really quick. We all know when this part of the boat gets wet and you got carpet down here, it'll be wet for weeks, um, especially my boat anyway. So this is really important because it dries super fast. Water gets in here, gets to the drains where it needs to go. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, really cool option on the XRT. Coming back to the back deck, Tons of storage again. Uh, then we've got our live wells. Uh, I think it's about 45 gallons worth of live wells. Uh, you got oxygenators come standard with the XRT. Uh, aerators, timed aerators, fills, um, all that good stuff. Uh, then we've got a little, another kind of day box right here between the seats. I keep sunscreen. Um, I've got chapstick in there. I've got face mask. I've got all kinds of, or, you know, buffs. All that stuff in there, just tons of storage. And you got two boxes, one behind each seat. Uh, I got it jammed down. I keep my soft plastics back here. Uh, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, try to set a bass boat up, you want to keep your heavy stuff back here. I keep my jigs, my soft plastics in the back. Got two of those. Um, plenty of room to put way too much tackle on this boat. Another cool little deal they they changed on the XRT that you've not seen uh, with Triton is the way that the back compartment opens up. So. Instead of normally the, the, the door would open this way, you've got to access the, the boat from the back uh, to work. If I have something going on back here and I need to check it out, I can open, open both of these. You see I've got lithium batteries in here. Uh, I got a spare prop, power pole pumps. And you can see that's you know super clean, tidy. Everything's in there I need to get to. If I need to get to a breaker, if a fuse goes out, anything, I can do it. I can access it from outside the boat, inside the boat, um, you know, just, just super handy for a tournament guy. Um, and if you want to get in here and actually need to do some work on your batteries, uh, it's a lot of times easier to do it from up here. So just again, not a big change, but something kind of cool, um, that, that we can do. I talked about the, the fact that we can kill the power remotely, uh, for the whole boat. So on next to the console, we got it where you can turn it on and kill it, uh, back here next to the Next to the motor, you've got a little switch where you can kill the power right here. So at the end of the day, you get done, you know, pull your drain, your, undo your drain plug, put your motor toter on, all that good stuff, and you're ready to go down the road. You can just reach right over here, kill your power. You don't have to worry about that anymore. It's done. Again, just super handy, uh, super convenient, um, which is kind of the theme of the XRT. But big front deck, ways to flush mount your your graphs, everything you need in this boat to be a good tournament fisherman, and it keeps the Triton performance. That's what I love about it. I've noticed that this boat, uh, you know, MLF, B BPT, we're packing a lot of stuff. You know, we've got a stat unit on the back. Uh, you know, that, that's really heavy. We end up packing three guys a lot of times, cameras, scales, all that fun stuff. And this boat doesn't seem to be affected by a lot of weight. So I love how they designed it for that. Plenty of lift up front easy to drive, takes rough water big. I don't know what else you want in a boat.